Well, what's up everybody? It's Chronotech24 coming at you from Chronotech.net and today I want to show you how to install Active Directory Users and Computers on Windows 10. Now traditionally we've had to download and install the Remote Server Administration Tools, also known as RSAT. However, with Windows 10 version 18.09, I believe it was released in October of 2018, they've now added it as an optional feature that can be installed through the OS itself. So we'll get right to it, it's very quick and easy. Begin by left clicking on the start menu. Next, left click on the settings icon, which is a gear. From here, go ahead and left click on apps. And finally click manage optional features. Once you're on the manage optional features screen, go ahead and click add a feature. From here, scroll down until you see the RSAT tools. There'll be several of them actually. Uh, so traditionally, you would download these and install these tools to manage DHCP, DNS, failover, things of that nature, and they're all still here. Uh, in this example, we'll go ahead and install RSAT Active Directory Domain Services. I'll go ahead and click on that and click install. It's that simple, that's easy. If I just click on the back, button now you'll see it is currently installing I have a progress bar here so we'll wait for that it shouldn't take too long and once that finishes it'll just be a member of the list like everything else you can see it here RSAT active directory domain services and lightweight directory services tools all right so now that it's installed we'll go ahead and confirm that it is available so uh, in the search window here I'm just going to search for administrative tools I see it here you have the legacy control panel as well as the new apps shortcut both work equally well I'm gonna go ahead and select the second one and you can see here here's all of our kind of traditional RSAT tools I'll go ahead and navigate to active directory users and computers and it's clearly here so I'll go ahead and open it now keep in mind I do not have a domain controller running in my environment at the moment so I will get an error message uh, there we go and of course in your environment with a uh, you know, functioning domain controllers you're not gonna have this issue if I just hit OK you'll see that the snap in loads normally so that's it. Super simple, super easy. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, in my next video, I'll be going over how to make a custom shortcut to make sure that you are launching Active Directory users and computers and any other snap-ins uh, using the proper credentials as an example. And you may have a secondary dedicated admin account that you want to use to launch the shortcut without having to type it in every single time. So we'll be going over that, so please come back for that. Otherwise, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit us up, chronotech.net. Thanks so much. Have a great day.